back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wing. And today we're trying snacks from Argentina. These snacks were brought to us from Sosu or Alessandro as we know him. And so we are super excited to try these snacks. We are also going to be doing a part two with him at some point in the near future. Once we kind of get our schedules aligned and we are going to be taste testing a second round of snacks where he's going to explain to us things that he grew up with and it's going to be super exciting but we thought we'd get a part one out of the way just so we can taste a few snacks and get excited. Yeah I'm pretty excited for this. I've not had any Argentinian snacks before mm -hmm. so I'm pretty excited to see what it's all about. Yeah we looked at the snacks and some of them look similar to ones we've tried from different countries and then there are some where we've never tried before and is totally unfamiliar to us. The first thing that we're going to try is these Bono Bon Blancos. So they're bonbons with peanut cream filling and a wafer. This is from the brand Arcor, which looks like a very popular brand in South America. I've seen a couple from this snack haul with this brand, so really excited to try this. Mmm. Mmm. wafer. Good. The peanut cream filling almost reminds me of like a hazelnut center, like the Ferrero Rocher's. Mm -hmm. This is like the white chocolate version with peanut butter or peanut in the center instead mm -hmm. of hazelnut. And it's very thin wafer. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yeah. I wish the wafer was actually a little more crisp. I think it's just how it is because it sits and it solves out a little. Yeah. But it's very good and mm -hmm. very delightful. The next thing we have are these candies. They're Sugus and they're actually made by the Wrigley Company. The Wrigley Company is a company that we have here too, but mm -hmm. they make mostly gums. Gum, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are soft candies with unique flavors. This one is mint, it says sabor a menta. And then this is limon, which is lemon. What do you have? Uh, that just means soft candies. Uh, Frutilla. Which is strawberry. Manzana, which is apple. Um, this one is naranja, which is orange. These kind of look like Starburst packaging in mm -hmm. a sense, but the flavoring is just written on here. Yeah, and they have mint flavor, which is interesting. Yeah, because usually, usually green is kind of like a apple or yeah, a watermelon. Like this, yeah. yeah. I can't say I'm excited for the mint one. Yeah, but it'll be interesting to try, so mm -hmm. let's give it a try. Yeah, I want red, so that's my favorite. You're not gonna share half? Okay, let me try the mint one because it's interesting. Cheers. It kind of reminds me of a piece of gum. Yeah. Like this one looks like a bubble gum. Mine is very interestingly white. It smells very minty. Mine smells very fruity. Mm, yeah. I guess you're gonna have that. Okay. Although I feel like I will like this one more, so I'll eat that one first. Mm. Pretty good. Actually, I kind of think this one tastes like my toothpaste. <laughs> the texture is a lot like Starburst. Mm -hmm. Very hint, subtle hint of mint. Yeah, it's like Mentos, actually. Mentos, yeah. But the first bite, it reminded me of my toothpaste. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. Is it like a Mentos? Mm -hmm. I like that one more. These kind of remind me of the Mento Mentos candy. But without that hard shell. I like think the soft center of it. I think the next one we're gonna try is gonna remind you more of Mentos, mm -hmm. but the fruit flavor. Yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the mint one as much. Yeah, the fruity ones are really good. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're trying are the Mentitas Frutal, which I think is gonna remind you a lot of the Mentos that we mm -hmm. have here. The one that comes in a little tube. Yeah. These ones are the fruit flavors. Let's give it a try. These are very round. Yeah. I thought they'd be flatter because yeah. the picture on the front it makes it look like a ball. It made it look like it was going to be like the. Is this a hard candy? No, it feels very hard. They're fruit mints. Fruit mints. They're very hard. Uh huh. It's like a. What's those candies? Jawbreaker? Mm hmm. But the mini version. Mm hmm. You can't bite into it. Unless you can. Do you break, break it? Uh-huh. You have to like really try though. Um, 
And I'm gonna pass on breaking it because I have a dentist appointment next Tuesday and I would like them to say that I have all my teeth still. That's funny. Hmm. I like the packaging. It's like they have this little flap that keeps it locked. Mm -hmm. I will say they are a little too hard for my liking. It's a very solid piece of candy. Mm -hmm. But fruit mints, exactly what you would imagine them to be. Mm, actually, it's minty. Yeah, that's what I said. It's minty in the middle. I yeah. just got to it. Oh, that's why I was like, it's a mint. It's fruity on the outside. And then when you get to the middle, that's where it's minty. I just got to the middle because I was like, there's no mint in it. It's just fruit. Oh, it's well, minty. I bit through it. That's why I got to the mint and I was like, huh, how do you not feel the mint? <laughs> it's like a refreshing kind of feeling, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like we've had these. Yeah, that's what these I look very familiar. That's why I said these look like the ones from the Russian video we did, the Russian mm -hmm. candies. Um, I'm not sure if it was also the Arcora brand, but we've had something from this brand already in this video. Banana flavor sounds the weirdest, so you should try it. Okay. I don't really like banana flavored things. I feel like it's a little too artificial. Mm. I don't like banana. You might like apricot more. It's very normal flavor. But it doesn't really taste like apricot. That's mm. just banana flavor. Yeah, it just reminds me of the yeah. banana Laffy Taffy. Mm-hmm. That's the worst flavor. Yeah, these are kind of like Laffy Taffy. Ooh, this one's way better. Yeah, that one's a good flavor, right? Mm-hmm. The banana flavor is not Very, good. very artificially banana. Mm-hmm. It's Belican Gomitas Eucalypto. Which is gummy eucalyptus. Cheers. It's got like a refreshing kind of taste. Mm -hmm. It's not minty, but it kind of leans minty. Yeah, it kind of leaves my mouth feeling minty, but the flavor is not minty. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like aloe. -y. Yeah. But some, some kind of herbiness, but like it also kind of reminds me too much of a lotion, and it kind of feels like I'm accidentally eating a sweet lotion or something. Yeah. The f if you're not going into it with that mentality, it's actually pretty like refreshing. I can see why people eat these. It's like a great way to like end a night mm -hmm. if you had something really heavy because it's kind of light, mm -hmm. or if you just ate ten candies. Yeah. This would be a great way to stop eating sweets. Interesting, but definitely the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. But I think it's not one for me just because it's not something I regularly eat. Yeah. And it does taste a little herbally and medicinal. For me, when I'm eating candy, that's not the way I kind of enjoy my candy. Yeah. It's good if you want to eat something eucalyptic. It's very interesting because in America, eucalyptus flavored things is not a thing. Mm -hmm. This is the second time we've had eucalyptus stuff. Yeah. We've also had it in the Australia video, and that was a new concept to us, eating eucalyptus, because that's a tree. And how can you make anything out of a tree as a snack, you know? The next thing we're trying are these Belican Yogurt Mas, which is yogurt, I'm gonna assume. Mm -hmm. So there's three different flavors, strawberry, or apricot, or orange. Yeah, banana. And a banana. I think you learned your lesson on the banana. So let's not try the banana. Yeah, let's do strawberry. I feel like this was a safe flavor to eat. It's not stretchy, so no. it's more like a yogurt. Like, I'm expecting it to be kind of milky. Mm -hmm. It does smell really good. It's like yogurty, like mm -hmm. the sweet Yakult drinks. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. It's not a creamy flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly how I was expecting it. Mm -hmm. Really good. I would eat this again. Yeah, you can try the banana one. Less offensive banana flavor than the yeah, article. I think it's dialed down a little bit by the yogurt. Mm -hmm. I still don't love this one as much because you can still tell there's a banana flavor. Yeah. I think we just don't really like banana flavored things. Yeah, but I think it's a very big thing. They always have a banana flavor, yeah. which we don't usually have too much Minus of. Laffy Taffy's. Yeah, I think Laffy Taffy's and Jelly Beans are the mm. only ones that 
I've do seen banana. That, yeah. Yeah. And neither of those are my favorite flavor. The next thing we're trying is La Yapa. And it says there are candies with these flavors. Um, strawberry, orange, lime, lemon, and peach. Mm. They kind of remind me of the chalkiness of the Pez. Like, <laughs> like, like you know the little Pez yeah. thing where you put the whole stick the on The dispenser. Them? Yeah. yeah. I think this is even almost shaped like one. It's a little too chalky for my taste. Yeah. It's kind of like the Smarties too. Yeah. Not my fave. The nice. next thing, butter toffee chocolate. Reminds me of um, the Weathers originals. Yeah. But softer. Kind of barely tastes the chocolate in the inside. I think I had all the chocolate. Oh. Because <laughs> mine is very chocolatey. Oh. It's good, but very sweet. Yeah. Definitely sweet. This is the Tree Al Favor. And it's the Guaymayan Dulce de Leche with vanilla aromatic. So it's like flavored with it. Vanilla. But it's a triple chocolate from what I understand. So let's try it. Actually not that dry. The cake itself is, but there's a moist frosting. Mm -hmm. And then there's like chocolate coating, mm -hmm. which adds just a tiny crunch to it. Yeah, pretty nice actually. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're trying is Alfajor Jorjito, Dulce de Leche flavor and artificial vanilla. From my research, Alfajor is like a caramel cookie, so that's kind of what I'm expecting, like some kind of pastry that's with caramel, mm -hmm. which is what the last thing also had, mm -hmm. and it had caramel frosting. Yeah. This is definitely a lot flakier and messy than the other ones, yeah. like if you see this. Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm It's so everywhere. The little lemony. Mm hmm Mm. I like this one. Mm hmm It's very sweet, but because it's so citrusy, it kind of negates it a little bit. But it is very sweet. I think the lemon comes from the white sugary stuff. Mm hmm on the top. Yeah, try this. Mm. Oh wow, but it's so sweet. Yeah, it's lemon flavored sugar. Mm -hmm. Lemon flavored sugar. And the last of this is the Aguila Mini Torta Classica. And this also looks like a cake. Yep, this also looks like a chocolate pie, but with two layers of filling as well. Yeah, one's chocolate and one looks like a marshmallow fluff. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what it is. I think the chocolate coating feels thicker. Yeah. Very dry. Mm -hmm. There's almost like a soft cookie that's a little, well, cookie texture. Mm -hmm. Like a slightly more crisp inside one. Yeah. I think it's the dryness of the cake. But there's a layer of caramel mm -hmm. and then the layer of the marshmallow mm -hmm. and then two thick layers of chocolate on the top. Yeah. Which essentially all of those ingredients together it is just very sweet of a dessert. Mm -hmm. The cake is a little drying. It is aided a little bit by the caramel and the marshmallow fluff. But I think because this cake is a little bit more dense, yeah, it makes it harder to swallow because especially since you put the whole thing in your mouth. Oh, yeah probably sucked out your saliva because it absorbs the saliva in your mouth mm -hmm. and kind of expands a little bit. I wish this was dark chocolate. I think it'd be more mm -hmm. balanced that way because otherwise right now it does lean a little too sweet for me. It's an okay dessert, but I did prefer the previous two mm -hmm. to this one because that those two actually had a little bit more balance in terms yeah. of the dryness. Yeah, this one's way too sweet. Yeah, this one reminds me a lot more of chocolate pie. All right, as per usual, we will have our rankings on the screen. We do want to thank Sosu again for introducing us to Argentinian snacks. We are very excited for our collab together. 
in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do a part two where he's going to actually explain the snacks that he grew up with and kind of tell us a little bit more than we're able to tell you because what we are able to tell you is based off of our Spanish, which is not a level of fluency that we can actually use um, as well as we'd like to. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see our next videos. And as always, let us know what you try next. On Twins Try. Bye! Bye.